Hey there, it's Ben Housel here, and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how we move clips on the main storyline and when there are connected clips there that we don't want to move. So you can have more control over your timeline and also nudge things into place without moving other elements out of place. Now if you're brand new to Final Cut Pro, you might be interested in my free intro to Final Cut Pro here on YouTube, or if you're looking for a more in-depth introduction, you can check out my class on Skillshare, which has over an hour's worth of in-depth introduction into Final Cut Pro. So let's jump in and look at how we can modify clips on the timeline without affecting the connected clips. So we've got um, a few quick edits set up here um, to demonstrate this. One, a video track with a connected video track on top. And the main storyline is essentially when we open up a brand new Final Cut Pro project, I'm just gonna delete all of this content, is this darker area of the timeline. And essentially what happens normally when you make an edit on the main storyline, it will bump clips in those connected storylines. So we'll take a step back here and undo the delete. And what we wanna do is not do that. So we'll demonstrate how this works normally and then we'll look at how we can use the modifier keys on the keyboard to make changes to the main storyline without affecting those connected clips. So this works differently with a couple of different tools. So if we grab the selection tool and we make an edit um, here, you can see that as I drag this in point here with the to shorten my music track here, I'm not changing the position of these three connected tracks. I'm keeping them in place. Now, if we did want to move them so that they moved in relationship to the, the edit that we're making, then we can hold down the tilde key on the keyboard. and that will allow us to make an edit and you can see now those clips behave differently. They actually move by the same increment that we're changing that in point. And we can see that will work the same way with this video clip. So if I hold down the tilde key and drag ahead, it's gonna move that clip ahead in time and even move it to the next clip so it connects itself to the, the second clip. So we've got a nice level of control with the tilde key there. Now, if we're using the trim tool, we'll come down to the trim tool, the shortcut for it is T. You can see that when we modify a clip here, and we'll start with a video clip, it's changing as we drag it to the left and to the right, it's changing the in and out point of that clip. And we can see that up in the viewer in our main edit. So if I drag this to the right, you can see the changing in points and the changing out point of that clip. So the left and right indicating the in and out point of that clip or the new in and out point. Now, as we're doing that, you can see that the connected clip is moving with that change. So if we grab the tilde key and now make that change, you can see we're doing the same change to the main storyline. We're changing the in and out points, but we're not changing that connected clip. Now, sometimes you'll want to do this a bit more precisely, so frame by frame edit. So if I have the, the trim tool selected and I select a clip, so you can see my in points and out point are highlighted yellow here. And if I hold down the tilde key, I can use the arrow keys to the right of the M key, also known as the chevron keys, to tap to the left and to the right. And you can see I'm nudging that clip by one frame at a time to change it. And that will work with an audio track as well. So you can see if I hover over my audio track and I want to reposition that audio, but I don't want to reposition these three clips, I can hold down the tilde key and it will allow me to drag to the right, drag to the left, and I'm not affecting the position of those connected clips. Now, this could be one layer of connected clips or it could be multiple layers of connected clips. And again, with the tilde key selected, I can tap the left and right chevrons and you can see my audio track nudging one frame at a time as I'm nudging that track. I can also hold down shift and that will move that audio track by one second. So the trim tool is really useful and the tilde modifier key is really useful when we're wanting to uh, toggle on and toggle off how that main storyline affects the connected clip. So we can nudge those clips nicely and we can gain a little bit more control over our timeline and our edits, which ultimately is gonna improve your edits in Final Cut Pro 10. So thanks for checking out this video. And on my channel, you'll find lots and lots of Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials that deal with the little tips and tricks that you need as you're developing your editing skills. If you're looking for a full intro to Final Cut Pro, as I mentioned at the beginning, you can find one on YouTube. It's my free 30 minute intro to Final Cut Pro 10. And if you're looking for a more in-depth intro, then I have a tutorial class on Skillshare that you'll find a link below for. And there's over an hour's worth of introductory videos to Final Cut Pro 10. Thanks again for watching, and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.